Hi everybody, welcome to Saturday Live at the Backyard Bird Center. Uh, I've got a lot of requests for this program over the years. Uh, it, it, we know house sparrows are a major problem for nesting bluebirds, especially in more urban areas. Uh, and, and people are, how do I beat sparrows? How do we discourage sparrows? How do we, and I've got whole videos on, on those topics. But uh, one trick that we've used for many years here uh, we, for about 20 years ago, over 20 years ago, I found an article uh, written by a guy here in Missouri, in the Kansas City region, and he was experimenting with fishing line, monofilament fishing line, just simple that, that line you buy the, at your store, and attaching them to uh, the, whenever we put the, the fishing line on the boxes, the theory is that house sparrows think of spider webs. And the house sparrows, are, for we've had really good luck over the years with them being discouraged from the box, and bluebirds like, are, are keep using it. Now, it's like Bruce was reminding me, but there, there, there are definite rules about this. And that is one thing that we learned right off the bat was if it's a box that the house sparrows are already going in and you add this fishing line trick to it, it doesn't tend to be as, as effective because they know the box, they're attached to the box. If it's a new box or you move that box to a new location, you have better luck using this trick. So what is the trick? And that is fishing line. I don't know if you, how well you can see it from there because it is monofilament, so it is clear. We want it to look like a spider web. And then we've, I, I'm going to turn it sideways. and. And put the, the dark background behind it if you can see it, but there are two pieces of 10 pound test fishing line. And this is important because what the, with the experimenting on this, uh, the guy learned that if you used anything over 10 pound test, meaning thicker line, that it did tend to discourage the bluebirds as well. So you want to, if you're going to buy some fishing line for this, make sure it is 10 pounds or less, maybe 8 pounds. But 10 seems to be the optimum for it. And that's what we use for many, many years here. Our, our birdhouse builder put it on all the bluebird boxes um, it, it, for years here, and people bought them. And we've had so many results from it. Of course, we've hundreds of customers that have used that box over the years. And some people had it work wonderfully. I mean, kept the, kept the house sparrows out for 10 years, five years, seven years, had all kind of reports. We had those that many customers tell us it didn't work for five minutes. So you, you never say never and you never say always in the wild world, but this is worth giving a try because what have you invested in this other than your time attaching it to the box? Um, because fishing line is very cheap, a couple of four, four little finishing nails cheap, and then just your a tap you know, with the hammer in there. So what I'm going to do is going to show you, uh, go through step by step how I do it. And Ruth is going to pan the camera down. We've got a, a working box down here to demonstrate on. Here it goes. All right. Have a bluebird, just a very simple bluebird box here. And if you can see already, I've already got three of the four nails the finishing nails in the, uh, in the the box, and here's how I line them up. You want the uh, string, the fishing line, to run right down the outer corners of both sides of the hole. So I use my ruler, and I angle it a little bit downward. So here's where my nail is at the top, and then I've got a hole down here that you that can in, in, tap in my other finishing nail. These are going in pretty easy. And I actually I actually like to have them a little bit angled up when I'm working on installing because these are easy to bend. So if, if your string is not very tight whenever you get them tied off here, then you can bend the nails upward and downward to tighten that, uh, that string a little bit. So that helps. So again, very hard to see, but this is 10 pound monofilament line, and maybe you can see it better on the box, but all I do is wrap it around the top nail several times, and then I tie it off, and I do the same thing at the bottom nail, and then like I said, if it's a little bit loose after I've tied it off, I can just bend that nail down a little bit, and it tightens it back up again if you go out there. So 
you know, put one on, line, line on both sides of that and get them uh, uh, on there and then place your box. And so we're just going to pan back up. And remember that it, it's a simple trick. And hopefully, if you're, like I said, it hasn't worked as well on boxes that the Sparrow's already familiar with. So on a new box, it's worth the investment. And if it doesn't work, all you got to do is take the nails out and take the or cut the fishing line off, and, and you really hadn't lost anything there. So, but it is worth a try because house sparrows are a definite problem for bluebirds. Bluebirds in our area right now, we're what the first week of May. Uh, some of my uh, folks have uh, babies that are already fledging right now. Some have just hatched, so they're in bit different stages of the first nesting cycle here in the Kansas City region, and I'm sure. Uh, they'll they'll take care of the babies and teach them the robes for about two weeks, and then they're going to start looking for another nest box. And, and they may nest in your original nest box. They may look for another hole to, to nest in a cavity. Make sure you clean out that nesting material because she won't reuse that, that old nesting material. She'll build a new nest on top of that. So be a good bluebird steward, and hopefully you'll, you'll enjoy the, the sights and sounds of uh, bluebirds that are raising their babies. And you know, if you feed them live mealworms, it helps those parents out to help you feed those their, their, their babies and keep them Going and growing fast. So, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the idea for the program. Uh, give us a like, give us a share. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe. Until then, come on, let's talk.